is budget crunch time up in Lansing with the new shift in power. Democrats are in charge of their first budget in nearly 40 years. Our Elle Myers brings us the latest from the state capitol building in Lansing. This is the first budget season in Lansing with the new Democratic majority. And lawmakers are looking to pass another major state budget with priorities on education and roads, among a long list of other priorities. But this change in political power is coming with some growing pains. First time in 40 years, Democrats have a uh, trifecta in the state. So we want to make sure we get as much opportunity and as much funding um, back to the people of Michigan and to, to our priorities that we all care about. So I'm excited to see what's to come. I'm um, mortified is the word that I want to use about this budget process. After winning a majority in both the House and Senate last fall, Democrats have their first opportunity in a long time to create a budget that is in line with Democratic priorities. And what we're looking at is a 5% increase in the student foundation allowance, which means for every single student in a school district, you're talking about an additional $458 for every single kid. That is huge. But Republican lawmakers tell me they've been displeased with the budget process. Spending continues to increase dramatically. But what exactly is in the budget? That's what we don't know, unfortunately. At this point, we're being told that we're going to pass a budget today. I still haven't actually seen what is on the bill. Republican lawmakers say they have not had enough time to review the budget before they are expecting to have to vote on it. We are in the minority, but this process is completely broken. We're going to get a 400 page plus bill and we're going to get it only a few hours before being asked to vote on it, if that. Colazar tells me, however, his colleagues across the aisle do have enough time to review the budget. It, oftentimes what happens, and when I was in the minority party, we experienced very similar situations, is your time might be a little bit more limited, but they, they will have plenty of time to review it. This year's budget will be an important test for Democrats after years in the minority. With such slim margins, they need bipartisanship to get it passed. It should be bipartisan. When Democrats went out in the minority, especially last term, every Democrat voted for the budget, Republican-led budget. So I'm expecting the same from my Republicans. I'm hearing they might not vote uh, all in, in unison for the budget and affirmative, but I think they should. It's a great budget. We'll have a closer look at the budget and those priorities that matter to you in the coming days. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Elle Myers, CBS News, Detroit.